Hey everyone, this is an overview of my character sheet effects display extension. So this extension gives you some neat visuals on your character sheet whenever you have uh, effects on you that impact your stats or your advantage and disadvantages and things like that. It also gives you some way to easily remove um, and add effects to the combat tracker. So let's start off with my blank character sheet here. Or not blank, but default. I've got 10 in all the stats, AC 10. I'm going to go over to my actions page. I've got some actions here I threw out uh, together. So let's start with a, a Vibrating Rage. I'm going to apply that. And you see when I apply the effect, it gives an indicator that it's applied and a button to remove it. So I can just remove that effect by clicking on the button. That applies to all your different effects. I'm going to apply this little one, Iron Stone, Strength plus 2. Let me go back to my main section. You'll notice a couple things. So the Strength set is lit up, showing that I have a, it's green because I have a positive effect going on there. And it's added 2 to my Strength stat. And uh, also I have a little green dice here next to my regular one showing that I have an advantage on strength checks. Same thing with the saves. Okay, uh, that's just one of the things. Let's go back and look at a few more. So, let's see, um, we'll do mobile. Rogue's eye. I'm going to go back and show you the speed updates. And apply a bunch of different things here. Shield, hex. Aid increasing my maximum HP, something you're really hard to do before. There's no way to go way to do it. Go back here, and okay, so my AC is impacted. If you open it up, you can see the details it adds to the miscellaneous section. And my HP has actually changed, so it will uh, change, save your regular max HP and override it with a, with a new one. And this is done with this new code called max HP. And so if you enter that, you can do it manually as well. So let's delete this. There goes the max HP. I'm going to enter a new one. Let's say you're fighting undead and you have a double drain or something. You can actually accommodate that. Um, let's turn some one more. Max HP, negative five. And there you go. You see how my max HP adjusts. Uh, or I can make the positive five and it goes up. And then when you delete it, it goes back to normal max HP. And the same thing applies for all these, like you can have negative versions, so if I have a negative 5 AC, that would make the AC go down, I delete it, it goes back to the normal 10 value. And if we go to the skill section, I applied this uh, uh, advantage on perception checks, uh, and um, I gave myself disadvantage on dexterity. There it is over here. It's red dot. So this shows you can have disadvantage when I roll. And it applies a disadvantage check. Alright, so that's a bit of an overview of everything you can do here. As you see, it basically you know affects all your abilities, your uh, your saving throws, advantage, disadvantage, ability check, advantage, disadvantage, max HP, uh, AC, speed, uh, all of your skills on here will indicate if you're gonna have advantage or disadvantage on the skill. Now, keep in mind that, that Fantasy Realms does not support uh, advantage or disadvantage on the skills. So even though it gives me a green dot here, or a green dice, I don't actually get advantage or roll because that's just not something that can be done with normal uh, syntax. But it does give you an indicator that you should roll with advantage, so you should remember that. Um, what else? And, and yeah, again, I showed you a lot of effect removal, so you can use this to remove the effects. Uh, now there's a few things I want to point out, some details to keep in mind. You may have noticed, like, the, for example, the iron strength, right, where normally the effect for strength would be strength dot 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 two. Let me show you it by entering it manually. So str, and you'll notice as soon as I type in str semicolon, which is a normal code to get a, a bonus to strength, it overrides it with this new one, and then you can use it as if it were the regular strength. And the reason for this is because this actually updates your main stat. To, so you, by having a main set updated, you're already going to get the plus one. If you use the normal code as it was, then you would be getting the plus one from the stat and the plus one from the effect. So don't want to allow you to have a regular effect in here when I'm upgrading the actual abilities themselves. Um, another thing to keep in mind is because this stores a record of what your original stat was when you apply an effect, you don't want to change your, your strength or, I'm sorry, any of your stats, your core stats, when you have an effect applied. That will mess up like the history of what your regular strength is. So you have to remove the effects, adjust your strength, 
and then apply the uh, effect whenever your stats change. Now, luckily, your stats don't change very often, right? So not, you're not going to have to do that very often um, in terms of permanent change, like when you level up to level four or something. Um, the last thing to remember is also just, uh, you may have noticed when I applied this steady eye skill, it says advantage check perception and investigation. Right now, at least, I don't support it form being formatted like this. You need to do it, do this, ADV, CHK, investigation, uh, space, there you go. So instead of having the comma separated advantage check or disadvantage check, you can do a disadvantage, I want to show you that. You just need to have them separate or one per row. Um, so, you know, if you have an effect that you, like that you use often, you can just go into your effect and actually just edit it. Uh, it wasn't actually working anyways, you know, as I mentioned, because this, the skills don't support that right now. So it's not like you're really breaking anything if you just change the, um, the wording on this. Uh, otherwise, it should work pretty well. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if anybody has feedback or ideas or suggestions, feel free to let me know. Uh, hopefully this adds a little bit of a visual appeal to your sheet and some reminders. Oh, one thing also I forgot to mention is on the actions page, at the very top, you have a new section here for your current effects. So you can see your effects and you're right on your character sheet. You don't have to go find yourself on the combat tractor if there's a bunch of things in there. And hopefully, you know, if you have something like prone or unconscious that suck on your character, you know, it happened a million times, you actually roll the dice without realizing it. And uh, now you can see that a little more in context, so hopefully that will help with that as well. And you can scroll if there's a lot of stuff. It's scrollable, as you can see. And you can collapse it if you don't want to see it. All right. Thanks. Enjoy.